We are getting so close to the end of things here. The front and back has been covered in multiple coats of yellow. This is going to have to dry overnight and I'm going to start taping the, or, uh, taking the tape off in the morning and hopefully see what I am happy with as the final design on it before I can get clear coating the body. Let me show you what I've been doing while I've been waiting for this to dry. Okay, so this is the pit guard that came with the kit. This is an actual genuine, genuine fender Stratocaster pit guard. You see they line up pretty decently. I'm not doing well with one hand here, but there's a significant difference I want to show you. And it comes in the form of, focus, that screw hole right there. See these screw holes, they line up. Most of these line up, but uh, that guy right there, they position it differently. There's the one on the kit. There's the actual fender one. And the same thing happened on the other side. I think in the end that's not going to matter, but I, I modeled my record cutout from the actual fender one. So I screwed the holes differently. But uh, also, so not only did the kit come with the white pit guard, it came with the white humbucker covers, white knobs, white everything and uh, I didn't want to go with white for that. I know I've got black, yellow, and white in the body design but I wanted black on everything. So uh, you see the stuff they got on the back here? It's a special tape that is supposed to be interference canceling so uh, different electronic signals aren't messing with your electronics. This one with the kid only did that little bit down there. I happen to have some of that tape around so I got some on the back here. Let me lay that flat. Put some of that on the back there. And now I've got all the pickups transferred over. I got the pot screwed in. I got the five-way switch. And you shake it. Oh, wait. How'd that become the hokey pokey? Oh, here's another hokey pokey thing that didn't quite line up. Um, will you be able to tell? You look at this pickup. You got the pickup with a black cover over it. And those line up beautifully. The other two, the middle looks good, but then look, look on the edge. You got like a little crescent moon off on the other edge, a little crescent moon. It's like the metal is just a little in toward the middle from where the hole's at. And then the same with this. You can see a little more of an offset there and an offset there. So <laughs> for whatever reason, those two pickups are spaced differently, or at least the Maybe the pickup cover is supposed to accommodate for that, and the pickup covers I bought didn't. I don't know, but it looks a little silly. It's not going to be a functional issue. I'm, I'm happy with this thing to go ahead and have some little quirks when I'm done with it. It's, it's a Frankenstrat for Pete's sake. So, yeah, I mean, this is how close we are. This, this pick guard is ready to be placed on it. These... We'll get soldered in on the jack. That's the only uh, electrical work I have to do. Um, I am going to engrave something on the neck plate cover on the back, just like I did on the telly. But, uh, man, we're getting so close. I'm excited. It's looking more and more like a done guitar. Peace out, yo. This has been a presentation of Busby Productions. Ah!